if we have a plan and fit demo or something uh, just like telling the phone, we are good to go with other the phone, good, good to go with broker account, good to go with live. But if you don't, don't have a, a plan for starting the live account, then I think it's a big problem. What's up traders? Welcome back to another TFT interview. My name is Kenta and today I'm joined with Abdul. You've gotten paid out over 20K with us. Welcome Abdul, how are you doing? Thank you very much. I'm good, how about you? Thank you for having me here. Thank you for joining us. So I wanted to just ask you, how did you get started in trading? Like when did you get started? I started back in 2015. I basically, I'm, by profession, I'm a doctor. And when I'm, I look at the ad of someone about it. It's a robot ad, okay. the expert advisor, right? Then I start looking for a product, but you know that the product ad are always a great lifestyle and something like that. Then I start looking for someone that helps me to give the information about the uh, process to start, how to start. Then I looking forward to people around me. One of my friends tell me that he's doing for it. So we will go on his place and meet him. But at that time, he's in a big loss. He is doing a cost management at that time. And when I met him, he is in a 20 million loss. Wow. So he went away from the people. We, I have feel very clear at that time that this is very risky market. Sometimes when you are doing this type of asking from people that this uh, we are looking for learn from this type of market, then people will tell us that uh, this is not easy thing. Yeah, I start learning from different people from YouTube, from different around me. But that time, I the first loss I made of thirty two hundred dollars. Thirty two hundred dollars. I was that time. I the here the payment message is working a perfect man. Someone hacked my system and take the money from me. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that is a very upset day for me before the start. Because at that time I didn't start a trading, but I put it a dollar to invest in broker account. So that I can start. Okay. Before that, this happened and I was very upset. Then I started looking to invest. And that time, two groups are working here. The FX10 and the need club. The need club, they are basically investment uh, bread funds. And I did some investment over there. But uh, <laughs> after I did the investment, they both have gone. <laughs> they both did the gate and my money has both uh, gone in both uh, FX10 and the need club in 2015. It's a big scheme around the world at that time. Uh, the big groups are taking money from the people and trade, doing trading. They personally, I think they were using the FPS broker and that time I don't know about the broker very much. And this is also a big group broker. So it's the money and goes. After that, I realized that if you want to survive in the market, you need to learn things. I will suggest those who are looking from some ads and looking that lifestyle. The lifestyle is uh, in forex market. Uh, looking lifestyle is very. The uh, people are saying that they have little bit money and money as as something like that. They have right. dollars and something like that. buy expensive watches. I'm showing people. This is not a real expectation. Add test here. <laughs> if you want to uh, forex for new as a newbie, then you need to focus on reality. That you need to learn step by step. If you are in any other profession. You have to do the of um, any master degree of four years. My suggestion for those who just looking at and want to start, I can say that they can set the realistic goals, the realistic targets, right? Um, by quarter and by six months or by year. Because in my trading, I have very often now um, because I'm doing trading from 2015. 2015, my first year is very dumb. But at the same time, when I'm doing four at market. I entered in a crypto market as well. The crypto market is that time very, we use as a payment method that time as a uh, Bitcoin, we purchased and deposit in the broker. Right. Sometimes like we, someone send a payment over to us, he sent to Bitcoin. That time Bitcoin is in $200, 2015, and yeah. 2015 is 330 and then come back. When I start learning the forex, when I earn some money from the forex, I invested that money in crypto market. That was uh, the thing that I made and 
when I was doing five days of trading and then rem remaining two days I did do crypto trading. That was my routine as a daily AM because that in 2017 the bull run started with one move from $900 to $3,000. At that time I have a big one, 2.78, something like that. Okay. And I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I'm very happy uh, that time. The trust halving of Bitcoin is when uh, the Bitcoin hard fork is. I have got the 2.78 uh, Bitcoin cash. Bitcoin cash will go within a week to 40, 4500 dollars. I will got 8000 dollars free, free of cost. <laughs> so this this type of things happen in life, the bird and my journey. Because I'm doing work like that, I'm uh, setting the target quarterly after six months, after a year. We will look less like well, this year is closing. We will look this year is a profitable year for me. But last year, I uh, almost 130k on crypto month. That was a bad time. So, always you are not in a curve like that. You are going straight away up and up and up and up like that. When you are doing uh, a lot of trading, how can you manage to trade? And you are always running a broker account. And someone, if uh, mostly uh, we have the traders when we talk about that, that they, when they get the payout, yeah. they will invest in a crypto market. They will go straight away to the crypto market. The crypto market is booming, just like boom nowadays, got 5,000% profit. Boom is a uh, coin. And before that, uh, the pay coin is a um, coin who got 5,000% from his launch. So the type of point when people look that we have the one hundred dollar it will convert into three thousand dollars. <laughs> I think will change your mind. This type of thing will change your mind and in expectation that if yeah. we lose hundred dollars, nothing much. Nothing. Much. But if we get then I will get forty three thousand dollars. Someone from the that area from the US take the pay coin from one thousand dollars and know it's worth it. One billion now. Yeah. <laughs> they type of things are working on the social media, then uh, mostly of the traders are trapped by that. Because in my experience, I've seen a lot of ups and downs. Ups and downs means we, are, we face losses. We face losses. I'm not cutting that. I'm a profitable trader. And in the last year, I told you that I have lost 130k dollars in crypto market. So when this is the only year after 2015, I close and yeah, as a lot. We will calculate our calculation from January to December that how much we made in over up here. But at the end, how much you got. And what you did with that money. What you did with that money that you got from payout, that you got from problem, that you got from broker account, that you got from something saving. The selling and purchasing are another topic, but selling is something like the cost selling. Most people are doing the post selling, EA trading, something like indicator, and right? Like the data for this. But I have purchased a lot of the book back in 2015, 16, 16 and 17. Week, I have purchased the book that time. I'm very much interested in the book reading. I have seen someone article that the bank interbanks are using the robots and they are doing robot trading. So I'm very much interested in the book at that time. At the beginning, you, you will see everything that, that is profitable. You're looking for the things that is profitable for you. When you are spending money on doing courses, from I have started courses from one to two local persons, and they are in a, a local language. And they uh, told me, one of the traders who only told me RSI, RSI divergence. RSI divergence, I will pay him $50. To $50. Just only for the RSA diamond. Right, right. Because they are only trading for RSA diamond. RSA diamond. In 2017, the one of my mentor and great teacher, Sajid Nuri, who is local, uh, in, uh, living in, right to me in Turkey, but he studied marine engineering from London. And he's very good trader. I took the course of, uh, in 2017, so 2017, why Volume spread in energy. That time, at first time, I listened the concept of smart money, smart money concept. Yeah. What is quarter? They give me access of the one Excel sheet. They every weekend they will update that and they will do webinars and tell us about the next move in next uh, previous Tuesday. What is the commercial rules? What is other? That time I was first time I seen the, a lot of concept 
that nowadays is very common. The smart money concept at the, the at that time we have learned bond yields, the core CPA, CPA, the fundamental. I have learned in 2017 uh, with violent spread analysis course of Hajit Dwaris. The mostly traders were profitable right now and running their own groups and their own training, mostly from trained from the Hajit Dwari. Okay. He's one of the famous volume expert here. Yeah. So I write to him on that time. It's very, I think, big thing for me when I look at the things that he is teaching. He gave us the three lectures on psychology. Psychology is the thing that I'm ignoring always. From the beginning to the right, no. Because I know what is the problem with the trading. Uh, the 20 to 30 percent are trading when you open the chart or when you open the laptop. The 70 percent are trading, 70 to 80 percent is behind the laptop, behind the charts, behind your mind. The psychology matters a lot. This will if I press in my life, I'm, I have some stressful events like that in my life. They will affect my trading as well. They will affect my trading as well. If I don't have any strict plan, I don't have any trading plan. I'm just like, right. I have, if I have uh, $58 in my local market or something like, I start business in doing lot and then I will open the trade but with big lot. It will give us lots as well. So these are my experiences. Now, like with your trading, what are you trading specifically? And then are you like a, a scalper, a, a, an intraday trader, swing trader? What, what does that look like? I'm trading on the two concepts. The ICT concept, uh, everyone knows that ICT is very famous. But I started learning ICT from 2021. And I learned a lot from the ICT traders. ICT is in the circle trader. At the same time, I'm looking volume and when I'm talking just like that, if I'm uh, uh, looking for the optimal trade entry, is uh, 0 0.62 or 0 0.70. Be below equilibrium the counter premium zone, then I will look on the, my second chart on the volume. If the volume is same like that, the volume is dropping, the volume is increasing. If the volume is dropping, then I will take that. I did mostly concept are based on the daily bias. If you are perfect in looking for the daily bias, if your daily bias is good, then this is a most powerful tool right now. They are different concepts. I will talk about the ICT kill zones. ICT kill zones are the mostly the time before the learning of ICT kill zones. I don't know how, which time I will trade. I will watch every time I will do chart on the cell phone, on the tablet, on the laptop. Yeah. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing. If I'm not doing live trading, I will do demo trading and look the chart. Every. After when I see the ICT concept of kill zones and when I start back testing the, the concept in the range, then I see that ICT kill zones are working very much. Because th these are the ma maximum economical standard time and from the beginning, I am very afraid of trading news. Because from the very beginning, I will tell for I am using the very tight stop loss. Very tight stop loss I am using that time. When the uh, news release, they will took off with my stop loss. Either they will go in right direction or they will go in opposite direction. I will not show. Mostly the brokers I don't know at that time, they will be opening a spread like that, taking my stop loss. Right. 4 to uh, 40, 50 people like that. Mostly I will trade gold. From the beginning to right now, I'm trading mostly gold. Okay. Gold and euro and pound. Okay. Because uh, yes, I will trade mostly but okay. sometimes I will go for another pair as the right now I'm thinking that if you stick with three to four pairs it's good enough and with gold if you good a gold and I if you are good with that go with that if you are not good with that then don't go with that commodity because they have very sharp moves you cannot do tight stop loss with that what does your stop loss look like usually like how many pips do you I'm doing the optimal trade entry depot problem I'm facing right now one with a stop loss. I will take the stop loss very early to the break people. I miss my risk reward. I will think my risk reward will be 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5. Uh, my risk reward is always good. My, my mean with ratio is not good, but my risk reward is always good. But sometimes it will like happen that they will go in my side like 1 over 3. And then I will not close in the trade. I have another target 
go like I'm not going with path head rate, path head goal. I'm mm-hmm. only going with the targets. I I look on the previous day highs, previous day lows, weekly highs, weekly lows. If you are trading the high stop loss, then it's a very rare chance that they will trade will go in the your type. Then I'm thinking that if the profit is going, you can move stop loss upside. Most of the sitting profit or otherwise, they will go reverse. Like you don't set your trade and then just walk away from the desk? Mostly in uh, New York, uh, sorry, London and New York, both of them are not that. Okay. In Asian rail, because we, we leave it here and it's early in the morning, we start and uh, it's London open. London open and then it will go at 5 p.m. and when there is evening, it's New York will be start. Because the other continents just like, uh, continents just like U.S. and they have London opening on the night. Yes. Yeah. I wake up at 9, 9 o'clock a.m. London open, then we will see the charts. New York will be closed. And when London closed, New York will be closed. New York will be from the trading. But sometime FOMC will be come on later. We will see big dividends as well. Right. And you're in Pakistan, right? Right now, I'm in Pakistan. As far as uh, like the risk that you do take per trade, do you have a set amount of risk, like 1%? Or how do you approach like getting funded versus like when you are funded, like does your risk change? When I'm doing challenges, I will take 1.5% per trade. 1.5. Sometimes it makes the pitch like in news and they will go in 2%. Okay. 2% is a maximum risk per trade. I will okay. take. This is the mean, that's the standard. I think two percent is not a big deal, but the one thing I want to talk about that the funds that uh, like TFT, um, before that we are working with my first fund, my first fund are good, good, and then he stops. He stops, and then after that, uh, uh, the period start when the payouts are a little bit delayed, and why there is the price problem? It mostly people are thinking that they are gone and the profiles are not working properly. So these things are affecting you with your challenge in the account with your funded account. Like when you're trading, like a figure you are trading, they made six figures, but they lost 65 account. When you look the interview of that and you see that uh, this trading is something like that, you can, uh, when you are trading with some, you can take big risk. That big risk will allow you to, like, if I open 30 lots on gold or 30 lots on US 30 or something big, it will blow my account within a second. Or otherwise, we have the affected option, I will pass the challenge. I have a call for need account, I will take less. Like, if I'm taking 1.5%, I will go with 1%. Or 0.5%, 0.7%. I know in my mind, I have to give something and to slip it, something like that. Because I know uh, when the new event is coming and they were picking, going in on one side, they will destroy me. So being a big, they go with big lot is something, the problem that will blow your account. Then you draw down really quick if you take more than 3%. Yeah, that makes sense. Are you currently funded with any other firms right now or was it strictly TFT? I have funded with Bipolar Fund and I, I started with TFT. My journey with TFT. Then I started with funding engineer, my credit effects. The right now, this is a big problem. The mostly funds that, that are no working, they are being Pakistan. Then this is a side for us. Oh, ESP yeah. is the only one who is working in Pakistan. And that's why I'm giving you a <laughs> You are the one that is working uh, properly and not the right now. You have, don't have any complaint in Pakistan. You didn't de- deny any fail. Yeah, my forex fund pain before they take Pakistan before they go. My hundred FX pain and right now some days ago they been the traders who is already funded. Um, but this is not a good thing. If when we were trading and passing the challenge is not easy. And after the passing the challenge, you are funded and you are ending a mail that you are, uh, we are giving you refund. This refund is not a compensation. The refund is not a compensation for us. That passing challenge is not easy. Mostly funded in the US as well from Pakistan. So most traders in Pakistan thinking that they will go to the way so that they start trading again in Pakistan. But TFT is wonderful. 
Awesome. That's good to hear. From when you started to where you're at now, what are the things that you had to overcome in your trading to find success for yourself? The only problem if I will overcome or most of the trader, if you know Fortin only Fortin resistance, I know in back in 2017, 18, I told you that I will give one person to fifty dollar for just telling me about RSA diversion. So they are making with RSA diversion a good profit at that time. So if you have a good credit, non good psychology, then there is nothing else. If you learn mm -hmm. some ICT concept or some basic, then you are welcome to in profitable trade. But stick to your risk and reward, win on win or loss ratio. These, these are the things that every trader don't want to overcome. But they all have issues there. They all have issues in the psychology, they all have issues in their personal matters. Like if I have a 100k one year in trading, I have invested somewhere and I look somewhere, not in correct market again, somewhere. So this is also affect my trading. So I will next year I will come with that, I will make 200k. But how can we make? Then we don't have a plan. Then we will look the fire, but there's a challenge in something like that, some unexpected from the crypto market. Because every market is running, crypto market especially, I'm talking about basically there are a lot of schemes mm. over there. In product market, you don't view it, but there's something, but this is not from your expectation. Like if you report, uh, purchase the report, it is not good, then it's not a big problem. You will lose some amount of money. Just like that, when I got hacked in uh, $3,200 account $3, in Perfect Money ebook that time in 2015, in Kipro there is a lot of schemes in my area, like in Pakistan, there are a lot of traders who lose money from in hacking and like the type right. of I'm uh, talking about security issues, security issues or something like that. But as far as like, you know, from like a psychological standpoint, you know, whether it's over trading or over leveraging, was there something that you started to implement or you start begin to like become more consistent in to the main things that people have to overcome in the beginning of trading? But what was it for you? Don't choose bad habit at start. If you are a beginner, let don't use over leverage on demo. If I'm using, I make a lot of profit if I might make over leverage on demo. If I, I have start. I will make start again and I will look at the demo account and start ten hundred uh, thousand dollars account, ten hundred K account to hundred hundred K account within a month, within a two months, within a three months. This is not a good because when you have life fund, you don't have any plan. Because you make the plan that is not possible. Ten K to hundred K is demo is possible because you don't care, but you don't have a plan to run the trade on live account. The first thing is that if you have a big bad habit in trading in the beginning of the day, first year, second year, then it's very difficult to overcome that. Other than the over trading also over trading is one of the things over leverage. Over leverage and over trading is we learn from demo account. I think if we as a beginner when we start, if we have a plan on trade demo account or something uh, just like that in the account, we are good to go with other account, good, good to go with broker account, good to go with live. But if you don't, don't have a half plan in, uh, before starting the live account, then uh, I think it's a big problem. Yeah. You will lose. You will lose. Right. I'm thinking that the end of the day, end of the year, what we will be getting. This is a big thing. If you are if you are going 10 trade to 100k, if you are not withdrawing and going to 100k to your Imagine that going from 100k to 1000k, 1 million is easy. It's a chance that you can make 10k to 100k. It's right. possible. Right. Sometimes. With luck. Right. But it's not always possible. You end up then you will lose. This is a very big thing because I'm not using too much social media. Mostly of the property, but I'm not using the social media. <laughs> but I'm not the property. <laughs> the thing is that Twitter, what you're making in YouTube, the uh, caption is looking at from ten dollars to one thousand dollars in one month, like just like that. These are the things when you're looking and you are feeling like this is not possible. Don't think like that. You start if you have a good habit in your trading, 
a journey from the start, then you will grow within a year, within a year. Or you will not make mistakes. Mistakes is in first month, even first month, mistakes is losing. If you're going to trade in the beginning, especially if you're going to practice on demo, don't just like build bad habits in your demo account and then bring that over to live because it's like, if you're going to do like, just not care about it and you're going to over leverage it, you're probably going to do the same thing with your real live funds. And I think that's interesting as well, because you get this amount of capital, you know, hundred K 200, whatever, but you have strict risk management. So if you pass 5% in the day, you lose the account like in you know you might not have that in a, a real live account like you might not have that stop you right away so you might just let the entire account go away but it's like a good habit to have you know start building these uh risk management strategies so that you don't you know if you do decide to go live with your own account that you're not going to be you know breaking these pretty basic rules that you should be following right yeah that's right one thing goes, I will add that if you are uh, learning the strategy, if you are learning the new things like ICT concept or something, but it is on a trading them. At least if you are learning something in four hours, give mm-hmm. two hours to your psychology. Teach and make, make the trading plan. Make the trading plan, execute that trading plan on demo account. The same demo account, the same uh, trading plan, the train trade that lot size risk. Ratio, risk to reward ratio, wins or loss ratio. Calculate that and then look. Everyone knows that. Getting a funding is not a difficult thing. Getting a funding, everyone is offering, if TFP is offering the telecom account, it's well, not much expensive. Everyone have access to get the fund of 10k down, 20k dollars, 100k, 200k. But the problem is that if you don't have any plan, people don't started with 10k and they will start buying a 200k then. Even they didn't deal with 200k on demo account. At least one time you can do half the challenge on demo account. Then you will right. buy the purchase the 200k account. I think problem with social media. When the people are coming and they are telling that I can make one million dollars within a six month and like that. Within a six month you made that. What what is your investment? What is what you have learned? That definitely applies on top of what you said about the demo. It's like practice good habits on demo. And if you're going to try to get funded, especially if you're going to spend a significant amount of money on these challenges, why not prove to yourself that you can actually pass these challenges with those, you know, risk parameters. And if you haven't done that yet, then, and you're not passing these challenges, maybe it's the time to go back and just trade on a demo account, treat it like it's an actual evaluation. And then once you've done that and you prove to yourself that the strategy works, then go back and purchase the account. That way, is that kind of what you were implying? Yes. I'm just suggesting that for me. <laughs> no, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great plan. I, I like that. I, I like that. It's just definitely a smart approach towards it because I'm sure there's a lot of traders out there that are struggling and, you know, are not able to get through to the next uh, phase, right? <laughs> I have a lot of people know me about the trading because I'm doing from 2015. The new traders who come in 2020, 2021, and they are very profitable. They are very profitable. Because they start with a good habit. And some people who is working with six months with the luck, like market is trending and they are making trade and making profit. After the six months, they will start losing the money. And end of the year, they will start saying that this market is not good. This market is not good. We are losing. We have done this. We have done this. We have done this. That they are not investing the money on the education. If you are only thousand dollars then invest at least two hundred dollars on your learning right. at least because you are earning one thousand on this platform or something like that do give something back the i have purchased a lot of course i told you i have purchased a lot of course a lot of robots a lot of things i have spent a lot of money i have did a lot of experience losing money but something that purchased is valuable i told you I learned quarter in 2017. I learned bond yield in 2017 from Sajid Gali courses. I got that course in 2017 from after the 5 to 6 course purchase. It's not easy to get the thing like the ICT is one of the wonderful traders and he made the public the content and I appreciate him very much. 
mostly uh, I said it, I'm suggesting who is contacting me that where can I start? I'm telling that go A and start from there. The first thing that they will go and start, I will tell him that go to risk reward or elective first and mostly people skip that next. When they are going for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they are going to skip. They think they will make long later. But later they will pay. They will not adopt in the good habit at start. If they are not making the good habit, then they will move at the end. This right. is the total experience. I am saying that make the good habit at start. Make the good habit of trading. If I am trading, I make I made yeah, from 10k to 30k easily. But after 30k, it will went to the 5k. So at the start, when you don't have any plan, if I have plan, I will take the withdrawal 30k level. I don't have any plan. If I will make 30k, I will think I will make 60k. Right. If I made 60, then I will think it, I'll, it's easy to make 100k. At some point, you know, you have to have a strategy behind that as well. Like, you know, know when to withdraw, know when to take profit. Like, you're kind of battling with the the greed, right? You're battling with your own greed. You're seeing like, oh, I can do this. I, look how far I've come. But, you know, it's like you hear these stories where someone's like up, you know, like you said, 30K. And then all of a sudden they're down 20. They're trying to make it back. And now they're down 15, 10, and they got 6K. You know, it's like, oh, my God, when are you going to stop, right? Like, just take take what you got, right? There are a lot of stories about that. Same like that, if you have problem in your going in your home or like you have any financial issue running behind that, then it's very hard to overcome that. It's better that if you are learning two hour, three hour daily, you at least 30, 30 minutes, one hour to psychology lectures and make your mindset. About the money, in forex market, in crypto market, in any market. For like a like a trader that's struggling right now or a new trader, is there some sort of something that you would tell them to assist them on their journey? If someone is struggling that first of all leave the live trading. Leave the live trading. If you have life fund, go do some other work, but for survival or you have the other fund, stop that trading and stop the learning from the basic. Basic what is the basic? If you are learning that I'm mostly suggesting the ICT, they will tell you about the way to start. Start from there. And practice every concept at least one month. Every concept. We are the person, if I'm suggesting the one of my friends that I suggest go and start ICT, they will go and watch all videos in one day. After a week, they show me that their YouTube is here, they are showing that I have learned everything. This is not a thing that you will not learn everything in one day. Right. Go learn one concept. In practice is at least one month. Start at least five, five four, six major pairs and then start at least one year, two year data go and practice that and think that this concept is working, not working. The all concept don't adopt that I will trade with all concepts. We specific work concept and trade. With demo account and learn the thing from back back testing. Learn the thing from back testing everyone you will do, you will see that they will make money. Even with one concept, you will make money. First of all, I told you, there is 20%, 20% in a laptop. If you have anything, you will make money. If you have a psychology, if you don't have psychology issues, though you have a strict trading, not you know what is risk reward. You will calculate your SDP, you will calculate your spread, and you will see what is your risk reward. Mostly traders, we don't, if I am making work trader lot, I'm opening the work trader lot, then I will open in one month almost work trader lot. These type of traders will not survive. Sometimes, if you are trade on gold, then make your asset long. Trade with less loss. Right. But if you are taking with the euro USD, then go with trader lot. But with, they will give you, sometimes, give to breathe the trade. I love that. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. It sounds great. So it's like, Okay, demo is your friend. Like if you are struggling, step away from the live markets, get on demo and practice that concept. Find what concept works for you, find that strategy and back test that strategy and prove to yourself and prove through the data that this strategy works and that you're confident in it. And that way, when you're ready to get back in the market, you have that confidence when you're taking those trades and, and really working that strategy, right? 
I think that's a great advice to any struggling trader or people that are just beginning. Also not to, you know, take it seriously. Even if you're using demo, take it seriously. Don't just like throw in random lots and just, you know, don't not care about it because if you blow the account, it doesn't matter. Like you're rewiring your brain when you're doing that. I haven't heard that yet. So that's really good advice there. Is there any last words that you want to share with our audience before we go? You make a very good conclusion <laughs> about my word, but I'm back. Why aren't you want to see that? The one thing I want to say that learn before and learn. If you you be early, then invest in yourself mm. and earn, learn more to earn more. If you are making good money, that's no good, not good enough. You have to survive in a crypto first market. Then you have to learn continuously. If you are top learning, then I think you will stop earning after the year after uh, six months. It's a, it's a continuous process, right? Like you continuously learn and you continuously grow. Yes, I'm, I'm a, a continuously learning three to four hours daily. Wow. Three to four, four hours I'm looking videos and then I will make practice like that. Something new. There are everything that is working. Like right. they something and we broke it Go for a little bit, go for volume, go for IDB concept. Everything is working in some way. Like 40%, 50% being rated 60%. If you are profitable in any way, harmony or volume analysis or IPT concept, learn more things as well. Learn more things. It will give you more confidence. This will give me more confidence that my two methods are combined right. and it's both give me one day. That's awesome. You know, I hope you guys found this beneficial, this podcast. I know I did. I wish you much success, Abdul, and continuous growth on this journey. And yeah, until the next time, thanks for watching. 